Hi folks, uh, my name is Bob Charche and I'm uh, going to be doing a Jane's Walk with you uh, with a virtual twist this year because of uh, all the things that are going on done in a socially distant way uh, just to let you know. Uh, so I often, not often, but I always start right here. And the reason I start here is because as you know uh, we're on the traditional Blackfoot Confederacy t territory and uh, the Métis Nation, Treaty 7, this is, uh, this is their territory and, uh, that we live in and work and play on. And this particular spot I love because the Music Mile was a bit of an idea and a bit of a dream my friend Meg Van Rosendale and I had. Uh, it came to me and on the streets of New Orleans one night, the notion of a music city and, and a music district. And when I got back, we put our heads together and we ended up working with a lot of people to, to help create something that is now called the Music Mile, which is a stretch of 9th Avenue from the east side, the Blues Can, all the way to the west side, which is the old King Eddie. So um, this, the reason I like to start here is because the first music on the Music Mile would have been drums. And it would have been First Nations people and having having drum circles uh, in and this particular spot was a meeting spot. This is the, the confluence of the Elbow River and the Bow River and a, and a very well-known meeting spot for First Nations. The other thing that's really interesting about the spot is that if you just look over to this direction you've got Fort Calgary and Part of, uh, of the settlement of, of uh, Western Canada was the Northwest Mounted Police, and um, and they they were this was their the, the fort here and uh, a trading area obviously and and what was it would be interesting from a music perspective on the, the Music Mile is they had brass bands and so the brass band music would have been played here. There's still a, a youth brass band group. Just down the river, if you walk down towards uh, the Simmons building where there's more music and there used to be opera, you'll see uh, our counselor Giancarlo. Uh, we had a, a gift of a band shell from Gatineau, Quebec, and it is now a, a music band shell down there. Dean House over here where there's jazz. This is kind of a great place to start our journey on the music mile. So now we're at the uh, far western end of, of the Music Mile. The anchor is, of course, at that end where the blues can, and the anchor here is the, the old King Eddie. Both blues places, both with incredible history in this town already, for, uh, for blues music especially. Uh, a newest addition to the west end of the Music Mile is, is the incredible architectural uh, masterpiece really uh, the, the library and what's unique about it is it's got some really important and, and lovely performance spaces that we had a, a chance to try out this winter it also has for individuals like me amateurs and that it has places where we can record and do podcasts and record music this is really unique for a library and they did it because they I believe they were on the mile over here is the National Music Center this is just uh, Canada's tribute to, to music. This is, we're so lucky. And there on the Music Mile, we get Canada's National Music Museum. How lucky are we? A beautiful building full of incredible programming, some great people working there. And uh, again, like all of us going through hard times, but they're gonna be back in the saddle. Over in the, light, the lighted, lighted corner of, of uh, the King Eddie is CKUA Radio. And again, how lucky are we to have CKUA locate their Calgary studios right on the west end of the Music Mile. And we were so happy to see them and they've been very, very supportive of us. So folks, this is the Alexander Center, a landmark in, in this neighborhood for many, many years. Uh, over on this side, over on this side, you've got a lot of uh, community-minded things going on. This hall, though, is, is really interesting. It's a real great performance center. Lots of room for concerts in there and, 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 and various things. The Calgary City uh, Orchestra used to practice in there, and there, it's a real dance hall. 
Out the other side of the Alexander Center is the, going to be the new Jack Long Park. And we're really looking forward on the Music Mile to maybe some opportunities uh, to have some outdoor concerts in that area. It's a really wonderful area. This is a great little zone because across the street you've got the Esker uh, Art Gallery up there. We've also got music underneath in, uh, in the, the restaurant there. They have music and uh, it's just a great little zone. I don't know, if, I think I mentioned Dean House which is down the way. If you look across at that yoga place over there, one, a couple years ago on the Music Mile we were having an event and they put a whole drum circle up on that roof. It was just amazing. Uh, people just loved it. It was great. So I've stopped here, folks. This is a, a place I like to stop because this was a, an important venue in terms of, of the development of the mile. Meg and I would meet with so many stakeholders and you always want to meet for a cup of coffee. And Andy was always there with a hot cup of coffee for us. And he, his story is really interesting because he just thought he wanted to run a cafe serve coffee and great cake but actually uh, he started to fall in love with the idea of the music mile and started bringing music and now is the venue that has music six nights of the week not now but we've had some uh, a video broadcast from here as well so the gravity cafe is an example of some of the businesses on the mile who become really aware that hey i'm in a music zone now and how can i use that music to enhance my my business So folks, this is uh, the old historic National Hotel, it's now called the Nash, great food, but also uh, they've decided to have some music, they've got some blues and jazz that they'll have on, on many nights here. Just a, another really wonderful musical and eat, eating place on the Music Mile. And it's interesting, as I'm walking along here, I'm looking across the street, and something that Calgarians have, have loved for years is uh, record land. It's like a huge warehouse that is just full of, of, of music, if you will, recorded music. Uh, everything from old 45s to vinyl LPs to CDs to just whatever you want, uh, whatever you need to uh, satisfy your musical cravings. Great people over at Recordland and just a lovely spot on the Music Mile as well. don't know Pat McIntyre, all that tells me is you're not spending near enough time on the Music Mile. Pat is the godfather of the Music Mile, the owner-operator of this uh, this joint, the Ironwood, uh, known across Canada as uh, a great music spot. Uh, great love of songwriters, local songwriters, Canadian songwriters. This is a place where they, they play and this is one of the anchors of, of the Music Mile. Pat's been a great supporter of the idea, and like I say, he's kind of our godfather. And uh, I, I love the joke, you know, closed for banjo practice, but he's gonna be back, and uh, who knows what he's got up his sleeve, but it'll be great. So folks, this is Festival Hall. This is the home of the Calgary Folk Festival. It's about a 200 seat, beautiful performance space. Upstairs is where the administration offices are. But this is a real home for uh, more than just folk music, for all kinds of music. Uh, this is a wonderful stakeholder on the Music Mile, the Folk Festival Hall. Again, how fortunate we were that they located in our neighborhood. Um, they also uh, are the folks that just spread into the neighborhood both ways now. and. Uh, with a wonderful festival in the winter called Block Heater. And uh, we all enjoyed Block Heater this year, but unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we're not gonna be able to enjoy the Folk Festival down on Princess Island. And so I know that uh, the folks up here, Carrie and the folks are probably trying to figure out ways that they can bring music to us over the summer and into the fall as, as this thing unfolds. And uh, the music's in good hands here, Folk Festival Hall, great place on the Music Mile. Folks, we're just coming up on the Lantern Church. 
And this church is a really important landmark on the Music Mile. One of the stories that I love about the Lantern Church was in hard times, uh, I think it was during the 30s and uh, people were, were suffering. There were a lot of single moms, a lot of women, kids that didn't have a place to stay, didn't have food. And the Lantern Church down in the basement would create all these little places where people would get to stay and, uh, and get shelter and, and get some help. Uh, these days, uh, it's a uh, Pastor Ed here looks after, uh, he's got a music school for kids that goes on here. There's arts in the back. Uh, but mainly, it's just an incredible hall to play music in. And uh, we've known for years, uh, we've, we've come and we've had great musical uh, events here, great concerts. It's just, it's that feeling you get. It's lovely to have a place on the mile that's old where music can be played. It's, it's really unique to have a concert in a place like, like the Lantern Church. And we're, we're really grateful that uh, we have a, a place like this on the mile. So folks, I just want to show you just, this is a weekend of, uh, on the Music Mile. About this time of night on a Saturday night, Sunday night, this will be just hopping with music. Be tons of people, cars, motorcycles, whatever you want. Tonight, hardly anything out here tonight. Well, folks, this is the uh, the east side of the Music Mile and the end of our walk. Uh, just down the street, Lolita's, great jazz club. Every Friday night, live jazz at Lolita's. If you haven't been, you should you should check it out. And uh, and what's what's going to make the Music Mile work is that we're a community. And uh, before I sing this song, I just want to say thank you to Meg and and to my colleagues and all the board members who are working so hard uh, to keep the Music Mile alive, all the stakeholders that have a stake in this, the businesses, the musicians, the neighbors, the venues. And uh, this is a little song I wrote about the Music Mile. Well, you can walk, you can talk, maybe even rock it and do it. it on your dime. And you can wing it. Maybe it's when you're strutting on the music mind Cause tonight we're strutting old school style Try to find the losers working blues a while We ain't gonna mind our little P's and Q's So strut with me baby, walk a mile in my shoes And this was a verse I wrote for the Yo Mama kids Well you can take your mama Take your daddy's caddy, you can take it all in full field style. No more just the grown-ups, the kids are really shy. You're strutting on the music mile. Cause tonight we're strutting old school style. Try to find the blues, those working blues a while. We ain't gonna mind our little P's and Q's. So strut with me, baby, a mile in my shoes. 